looking at that and saying, right, I'm going to buy, I'm going to see, we're going to buy six dollars eighty stock. Then obviously you're going to be saying six dollars eighty, seventy cents, so six dollars and ten. So the stop's going to be six bucks ten. There's your stop on the trade. And the idea is to rattle that stop into break even as quickly as you possibly can do after the open. And obviously, when you start looking at that, this trade obviously goes through to a target price without any real trouble. And that target price is obviously already making you over 10% return on your account, so that's good. And then obviously, the rest is just, uh, as I said, the rest is just uh, crazy because when you look at the amount of risk we took for the ultimate gain on that trade, it's pretty impressive. It's over 10 to 1, of course. But uh, you don't often get 10 to 1s, do you? You don't often get 10 to 1s. Now, one of the things you're always going to be watching is it's vitally important that at the end of the day, you still realize that this is a stock, right? It's vitally important you still recognize that this is still a stock trade. It's not a, it's not a commodity. It's not, a, it's not an equity. It's, uh, sorry, it's not, a, it's not a, a bond. It's not none of those things. So one of the things we always try and make sure we try and trade with these things is the S&P itself, the underlying broad market. We want to make sure that we have good evidence of a buy side market when we come into some of these deals. If the market on the s and is selling off, I don't want to buy this stock at that stage. I want to wait for the S&P to come back up again, right? So you might be looking at the bottom edge here, for example, and you can see that we had a big spike down. And you might say, why the hell would you not buy that? Why the hell would I buy it when the s and is getting murdered? It's still a stock. It's still a stock, right? So I want to wait for the S&P to start improving. And when the S&P starts to improve, I want to try and start coming into that bit of business at that stage. So you can see that there was the opportunity to then do that bit of business just off the $7. That's the price that I was uh, actively pursuing was anything under 7 bucks a share. We got an average price actually of $7 on this one. And you can see why we bought it here, because the S&P opened up traded higher. And then when it traded, the S&P traded down, I'm not going to buy it. That's stupid. That's madness, right? But when the S&P traded up again, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. It's nuts. Crazy. Fantastic. And then the price goes, and then obviously the target price, uh, the, tar the target price bracket, of course, we start watching the S&P. We can see that the S&P started to rise again there. We started to buy some more. And then the S&P dropped off, and we knew that that would start bringing the exit eventually into the stock. The cat can't overcome the market itself. At some stage, the cat will become the market. It's the same thing. And there's the deal. We start seeing that rotation off the high print. Pretty good. Pretty good.